All right, I could start this video with a series of bad puns related to matter. But if you're looking for content like that, go over to Paul Hibbert's channel. Just kidding, please don't leave. In part one of this video, we discuss SwitchBot's new hub, aptly named Hub2. One of its biggest selling features is the promise of bringing the power of matter to your existing SwitchBot devices. Now, if you haven't already checked out part one, you may want to click right up here to see a complete breakdown and overview of the Hub 2. Now, I decided to break this up into two videos because I spent the last few weeks figuring out the best way to pair your existing smart home systems with this Hub over Matter. Now, this was a challenging task, kind of like trying to nail Jello to a wall. So today, we're going to be discussing the current Matter support available to the new SwitchBot Hub 2. We'll cover the devices that it supports, the platforms that are compatible with it, and what features are currently available. Finally, I'll show you how to actually pair the thing it's not an easy task. Sound good? Let's take a look. Now the main promise of Matter, which was previously known as Connected Home over IP, is to enable local control of your devices from your preferred smart home platform. Despite this being announced back in 2019, Matter has only been available on the market for a few months, so it's still in its early stages. So some major smart home brands have already updated their hubs to serve as Matter bridges or edge routers. This allows you to control your existing non-Wi-Fi devices from a compatible Matter platform. This is where the Hub 2 comes in. It's SwitchBot's first foray into Matter. Now the promise is that eventually you'll be able to control your Bluetooth-based SwitchBot devices via any Matter-enabled platform. This communication will be local and therefore quick. It should also work without the need for the cloud. That, of course, has always been the dream of Smart Home. Now we'll see here in a minute if that truly is the reality. Now I'm not going to do a detailed breakdown of Matter and how it works in this video. However, if you're interested in seeing one, let me know down in the comments. I've been considering making one. Now things are moving very quickly in the space. Most of these companies are working diligently to update their device firmware to support the new Matter protocol. So I'd keep an eye out on your device manufacturer's websites to see any new announcements. But today, let's take a look at which SwitchBot devices can be controlled over Matter. Now, as of today, only two of the SwitchBot devices have been upgraded to support Matter integration. The first being the Tilt, which is their blind controller, and the second being the curtain bot. Now SwitchBot actually sent me a pair of these curtain bots so I could test out the matter integration. Even though I don't have curtains in my house, I was able to test out the product on one of my shower curtains. Now my oldest son really wants to keep the curtain bot set up so he can open and close his shower curtain with the Google Home. Now this is a really cool product and I'll probably do a longer breakdown video later on. Now if you own either of these two devices, you can control them from your compatible smart home platform of choice. SwitchBot is currently working on a roadmap to upgrade their other devices, including the lock, meter, sensors, and of course, the bot. These upgrades will be available as firmware updates, so you don't have to worry about throwing your hardware out. Now, if I can get a hold of an upgrade timeline, I'll post it in the video description below. Now, there's one more thing that actually works via Matter, and that is the temperature and humidity sensors that are built into the new Hub 2. These two sensors are able to be read over Matter. However, the buttons and the light sensors are not currently output over Matter. I've asked my contact at SwitchBot whether or not this is actually going to be on the roadmap. Now that we know which SwitchBot devices are compatible with Matter, let's see where we can control them from. Now just to clarify, when I say platforms, I'm referring to your smart home controller of choice. In the Matter universe, these are technically considered bridges. Now I've tested four of the major smart home platforms that I actually have here in my house. Fortunately, all of them have been updated to support Matter. So we have Google Home, Google Assistant, Apple Home, SmartThings, and Home Assistant. Now, three out of the four platforms that I tested successfully worked with a SwitchBot via Matter, with the exception of the Samsung mm -hmm. SmartThings. Despite having a SmartThings Hub version 2, which has been upgraded with Matter compatibility, it did not work with a SwitchBot. While SwitchBot currently does not support SmartThings, it's possible that they will resolve this issue in the future. Although I was able to connect the SmartThings Hub, I was unable to control the devices or retrieve any data. Now please note that in order to enable Matter support for all of these options except Home Assistant, you must have a compatible hub running on the correct firmware. Check the notes in the description for links to each company's help page that lays out those requirements. Now for the Google Home Assistant, I believe it's using my Nest hubs to bridge over to Matter. For Apple Home, it's using my Apple TV 4K box. Finally, for Home Assistant, you need to be on version 2023.3 or later for Matter support. Now for all of these, make sure you have everything on the same network. I mean the same subnet and Wi-Fi network. I have multiple Wi-Fi networks and VLANs, and I've had so many issues when trying to use Matter across these. So for right now, just keep it simple. Now that we know what works and what it works on, let's head into the office and I'll show you how to set up the Matter connection. So setting up Matter wasn't as easy as I originally thought it was gonna be. 
It's not really the fault of SwitchBot because I did set up my Acara M2 hub and it had a lot of the same issues. So quickly, let's break down the requirements. So your hub must be running at least version 07-5 of the firmware. You also need to make sure that your curtain or tilt devices have been firmware updated as well. All your devices need to be on the exact same network, both Wi-Fi and subnet. And you need to do the setup on a phone. You can't use a desktop. And finally, make sure you're running the latest version of all the mobile apps, whether it's your Apple Home app or the Home Assistant app. Before we start, let me give you a quick concept, and that's that of primary bridges and secondary bridges. I'm not sure if this is what the Matter standard calls it, but this is how SwitchBot works. So the first device you actually connect your SwitchBot hub to is your primary bridge. Then anything after that is considered a secondary bridge. This is important because of the way that you pair things. You actually pair the secondary bridges to the primary bridge, not to the SwitchBot hub. And we'll see an example of that here a little bit later on. So to get started with pairing, the first thing you have to do is put the hub to in Matter pairing mode. To do this, press and hold the on and off button for 15 seconds. It's gonna beep one time after two seconds, keep holding down, and then you'll hear an additional beep and the screen will blank out and it'll come back resetting to Celsius. Some users may find that they need to actually repair their hub to to the Wi-Fi. Others will be able to pair directly to your Matter hub and then it will add itself back to the Wi-Fi. I find the former much easier because if I'm not connected to the Wi-Fi, then I run into a lot of problems. So once you've got everything reconnected, click on the settings wheel and go down to Matter Configuration and you'll see a QR code and a pairing code. Depending on the application that you're using, you might be able to use the QR code or you can use the pairing code. If you're using the same device to pair that you have your SwitchBot app installed on, just go ahead and copy the pairing code, it's easier that way. All right, with the code ready, now you're able to pair your platform of choice. So we're gonna be going over Google Home, Apple Home, and Home Assistant. Now remember, each of these next steps are exclusive, so pick one. If you have more than one hub that's compatible with Matter, at the end, I'll show you how to pair a secondary bridge. So the first platform we're gonna look at is Google Home. Now we need to open up the Google Home app and then press the plus button in the top left-hand corner. Then we're gonna select new device, not works with device. If you read here, it actually says matter devices. Sometimes you will see the device auto detected. If not, you can click continue and then select it from a list. Either way, once you get past the found matter device stage, you'll need to enter or scan your QR code or your pairing code. Then you need to wait two or three minutes for the process to complete. Once it's completed, if you scroll all the way down towards the bottom of your home app, you'll see in this house, and that's where your matter devices will show up. In my case, it'll add either four or six devices, for some reason two or four bridges, then your two sensors that are on the hub itself. To add any secondary devices like a tilt or a curtain bot, you'll need to go back into your SwitchBot app and you may need to wait a few minutes. Go back to matter configuration and then it should say connected and then at the bottom, you have the option of adding a secondary device. Click this and select whichever device you wanna share out over matter. That's the same for all of the different ways of pairing. All right, next up, we'll take a look at Apple Home. So go ahead and open up your home app on your iOS device. Then in the top right hand corner, press add accessory. Next, you're gonna scan the QR code of your SwitchBot matter configuration. If you wanna enter the pairing code, you need to click this little section right up here and it will take you in to the area so you can manually enter a pairing code. Next, you need to click add device. Now this may take a couple minutes and once it's done, you'll have to assign a room to the hub and then it's gonna find the humidity device, which you wanna give it a name and assign it to a room and then the temperature device, give it a name and assign it to a room. Once that's done, then you can follow the previous steps on adding a secondary device for your tilt or your curtain bot. Now it may take a few minutes once you pair it for data to start flowing through. If you do run into problems, I like to unplug and plug in the hub in order to refresh and have it start sending data. All right, for Home Assistant, again, make sure you're running 2023.3 or later on, and you're running the latest version of the mobile app on iOS or Android. Before we get started actually pairing the devices, you need to make sure Home Assistant has both the Matter server add-on installed and the integration installed. That's pretty self-explanatory because you don't need to get those from anywhere outside. Those are just available to be installed right from Home Assistant add-ons. Once those are installed and you rebooted, now we can pair the Matter device. So again, have your Hub 2 in Matter pairing mode. Then we're gonna go to Settings, Integrations, click the Add Integration in the bottom right-hand corner and say Add Matter Device. Now, depending on if you're on iOS or Android, it'll look a little bit different, but it will typically ask you to get the option to scan the QR code or enter your pairing code again. Just like all the other applications before, we're gonna wait a couple minutes for the pairing to be completed. Then, if you go back to your Integrations tab and scroll down to Matter Devices, you should see the Matter Devices in here. Now, initially, it will add a master device and then two sub-devices under that. Those are unnamed devices. You'll need to click on them to identify which one is the humidity and which one is temperature. Go ahead and rename them so they're easy to find. 
Then once you do the secondary device pairing through the SwitchBot app, your other devices will show up as unnamed devices. One quick note, currently under 2023.4, the curtain bot is not supported. I'm not sure if the tilt bot is working, but when you do pair it, it will pair, but there'll be nothing in there to control. So hopefully this gets addressed in an upcoming version of Home Assistant. All right, now onto our last section, which we're gonna talk about the secondary bridge. If you have more than one Matter compatible hub, you'll need to have one device designated as primary connected to your Matter connection on the hub two. Then on the other devices, you'll connect them to that primary bridge. So in my case, I connected everything to Apple Home, and then I'm able to connect it from Apple Home onto Google Home and Home Assistant. One quick note, again, I don't think Home Assistant supports this secondary bridge function. Hopefully they will sometime in the future. So if you do have a mixed device where you have Home Assistant and Apple Home, pair it to Apple Home first, and then you can pair it back out again to Home Assistant. All right, so and again, in this case, we're gonna use the Apple Home as an example. So we'll go ahead and open up our Apple Home app, click on any of the devices, then from here you can click Bridges. From there, you can put the bridge in pairing mode, and this will generate a unique pairing code, and it will not generate a QR code for some reason. This pairing code will only last for a few minutes and allows you to connect to a secondary bridge. So go ahead and open up your secondary bridge of choice. In my case, I've got Google Home. Go through the standard process of pairing in that one, just like we did in the previous step, and those devices should transfer through. Now, I've been having some problems with my Google Home, so I also paired it to Home Assistant to test, and it worked fine in Home Assistant. I have a feeling this is an issue between SwitchBot and Google Home. Now quickly, let me go over some of the problems that I've ran into, so that way, if you are trying to do this right now after it's come out, you know you're not crazy. So let me start out by saying, number one, I know this is still in beta. It's beta across all platforms, so hopefully all these issues get resolved in the coming months. And the second thing is, Matter is completely reliant on your home network. Now, I know that my home network has had some weird issues with it because it is fairly complex. I've got VLANs, I've got multiple SSIDs, I've got multiple networks and multiple access points. So you could have absolutely no issues whatsoever if you have a simpler network. But just be aware, if you have a more complicated network, you might run into weird issues. And again, I had the same issues with my Akara M2 hub when I set it up for the first time. So the first issue was pairing was pretty painful. I spent about six hours total trying to get these things to pair consistently and continuously. Weird things would happen after I paired the devices. The Wi-Fi would disconnect or be replaced by random Chinese characters. I would then either have to reset the device or reset the Wi-Fi and reconnect it. I've also had issues with continued connectivity. I've got the Matter Hub paired, no problem. And then randomly, even though the SwitchBot is still connected to the internet, I've lost data communication into my other additional Matter Hubs, even the primary and secondaries. Also, pairing takes forever. Two to three minutes is a long time to wait when you're trying to set up and test different platforms. I would end up having to babysit my phone for two to three minutes at a time, which is annoying and runs down your battery. And these other platforms that are Matter compatible don't work with the SwitchBot, like smart things. Hopefully that gets fixed here in the next coming weeks. And then right now, there are only two devices that are currently supported by the integration, and that is the Tilt and the Curtain Bot. I had neither one of these before this video, so, so the Matter integration really wasn't that important for me. I really hope very soon they support other devices like the meters, the locks, and the SwitchBot. I have a ton of those around my house, and right now they're having to be connected the old-fashioned way, through either Bluetooth or via the API. If you are struggling to connect your SwitchBot devices and you want to support everything via the API, if you're running HomeBridge, there's a great plugin in HomeBridge, and I've got a link down in the description and here below. So with all the issues out of the way, let's sum everything up. So right now, I wouldn't recommend running out and grabbing this device if all you're looking for is Matter compatibility. If you're happy with the current connection of your devices, either over Bluetooth or API, then just stick with them that way until they start adopting more of their own platform and fix some of these issues. Right now, it's a little troublesome to get set up. It's a little troublesome to keep running and it has limited usage as of today. But again, hopefully here in the next few months, they expand the capability and fix these bugs. Some of this isn't SwitchBot's fault. I mean, the Home Assistant problems, I think are on the Home Assistant side. Everybody is trying to develop at the same time. So we're gonna run into problems. New bugs are gonna be introduced as we go along. Of course, if you already have the Hub 2, then go ahead and set this up. There's no harm. But I wouldn't recommend moving all of your critical integrations over to the Matter integration just quite yet. Go ahead and continue to use the Bluetooth or API's backup. Now, we'll admit that some of these issues could be because of my network. So if you tried this and it works smoothly, then please let me know in the comments. Feel free to call me an idiot. And if you've played with the Matter integration, go ahead and let me know in the comments how you like it so far. Now, if you haven't already checked out my deep dive into the Hub 2, you can click on the video right here. Or if you'd like to see my other videos on SwitchBot devices, you can click on this playlist right here.
And I want to thank you again for making it this far into video number two, and I'll see you all on the next video.